I think number one, he had uh, tremendous integrity. To accompany that integrity, Mr. McLean had tremendous intellect and creativity, uh, but he was also very pragmatic. But always, always, always with tempered with this great sense of humor. He really had a wonderful balance of uh, humor uh, and seriousness and was, had an incredible intellect, very, very bright. Um, and that's what I remember about Malcolm McLean. He was truly a treasure for the city of Savannah. Malcolm McLean was a remarkably talented man, lawyer, U.S. Naval commander, mayor of Savannah, devoted father, a unique individual who possessed an enormous array of talents and lived his life purposefully. I think like all great men, and I think Malcolm McLean was a great man, he was a complicated person. Um, uh, he, he had great wit, but he had a great seriousness of purpose. Uh, he was a hard worker, uh, but he believed in the importance of recreation. He loved tennis, anyone who knew him knew that. Uh, he was devoted to his profession and to his community, but he was also devoted to his family. Uh, he had great intellect, but he could converse with anybody. Those factors made Mr. McLean the the great lawyer that he was and the great teacher that he was. After college, military service, and Harvard Law School, Malcolm McLean served as mayor of Savannah for six years from 1960 to 1966. During his tenure, he was one of the key leaders in peacefully promoting civil rights and desegregation in the city of Savannah. His leadership helped guide the city through a turbulent time. And I think the philosophy that he had, um, I share, um, he felt that one, he recognized as mayor that everyone had different opinions about what should be going on and what should be done. But he also recognized that everyone involved in that, in the black community as well as the business community uh, and the white community, all realized that they all had so, some goals. And he told me that once he realized how to get those goals to mesh, to benefit the business community, benefit the black community and the white community, then it wasn't much of a problem. But he had to get those forces together in order to, for everyone to realize that this was going to be a win-win situation for everyone in this community. During the Civil Rights era, Malcolm McLean was mayor of Savannah from 1960 to 1966, uh, during which time uh, the country was going through great changes, uh, the Civil Rights era. Uh, under his leadership, Savannah made that transition successfully and peacefully. As mayor, McLean targeted increased tourism as a spark for furthering Savannah's economic development. He endorsed a riverfront auditorium and convention center complex. He also expanded public library facilities and remodeled police headquarters. I think uh, through his law practice that uh, he had a pretty good view of the city's problems and uh, when you see all the problems uh, sometimes you 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 want to help in, in different ways and I think uh, I, I think he was of that uh, uh, had that intent. Malcolm McLean's handling of the issues of his day didn't see him to victory at the polls. He lost the post in 1966 to businessman and philanthropist Jay Curtis Lewis. He served during very tumultuous times, you know, with the racial unrest, and and uh, I'll have to say that he did an excellent, excellent job of, of, of handling that uh, in a peaceable and, and intelligent uh, and fair manner. I think the reason that he played the role that he did, and the reason that he was the example that he was then, is because of two things. Uh, he believed in the law. And the law said, you're supposed to treat everybody the same, and you're not supposed to have this separation anymore. And he was a man of fundamental fairness, and he just didn't think that was the right way to treat people. And he was not going to be a part of it. After losing the election, McLean devoted all his time to practicing law. While working at Georgia's largest law firm outside of Atlanta, he established himself as one of the most respected lawyers in the Savannah community. He was a fierce but honorable uh, competitor, a uh, man of great integrity, 
McLean used his mastery of the law to provide a service to all of Savannah. He counseled industry captains, citizens, rich and poor, and even fellow members of the legal community. I really considered him one of my mentors and, and, a, and a good mentor at that. Mayor Malcolm McLean, lawyer, leader, mayor of Savannah. I think he was able to balance so many wonderful gifts. He was active in so many organizations that he, he had uh, pretty much the uh, heartbeat of the city. I think uh, Malcolm McLean would be very proud of what Savannah has become.